Hello, Raymond. My name is Sean Everett. I am the website analysis expert over at Zucor Marketing, and thank you so much for talking with Eric. He sent your website over to me for analysis. There's so much that I want to talk to you about, so I'm just going to get right into it. First off, you have a really beautiful site. It truly is a, a, a nice site to go on to. You have different options for languages. That's really smart in this day and age. And uh, you have some interesting uh, graphics. Now, this website should be a tool of your company the same way that that uh, cordless drill is a, a, a tool for him. Uh, because you want your website is to be something that brings you customers and money. Uh, if it's not being used that way, then it is just a novelty and you don't need it on your on your business card. So uh, I'm going to show you exactly what I do with a uh, analysis. Now, the first thing I do is I look at your website using this uh, paid tool I have. It's an analysis uh, tool that shows me a lot of the metrics from your site. The next thing I do is I go and I do a simple uh, search from your area, Akron Roofers. Now, uh, the first thing you're going to come across in uh, any Google search, well, at least in, in this uh, region, is uh, the paid ones. These guys, they call sponsored because it sounds better than bought and paid your way up to the top. But underneath that, we have the map pack, so-called, because they are next to this lovely map. Now, uh, these folks got there by filling out a Google business profile. It is something that is like a Facebook profile, but it is hosted by the Google business section. They want you to advertise on Google, which isn't such a bad thing, but uh, it's one way of getting your name up here by having a Google business profile. It doesn't cost anything, but it could take a little bit of expertise and finesse to make sure that you get up into the top three. Now, the next thing I'm gonna show you is that below this is what we call the organic search results. Google has decided that their algorithm knows what is relevant for you. Now, the Google algorithm has a couple of uh, things that it wants from your website in order to consider you a contender to be on their search results. Now, uh, uh, you and I might think that a relevant search revolt result would be somebody who has great workmanship and uh, quality materials, but Google thinks that the best roofer out there is somebody that has a good website. So. That's what you're competing against. Um, and, you know, Google is the gorilla in the room. So uh, when the gorilla wants to dance, well, you dance. So underneath the map pack, as I said, the organic search results, the first one is the Better Business Bureau, which is a shame because it should be a roofer. Should be you. Second, GAF. Third, Today's Homeowner. Fourth, Angie's. And now the first uh, contractor I find under there is TK Roofing and Gutters. Now, I'm going to show you their site. Uh, here it is. Um, and it's, uh, you know, not a bad site. It's not because their, their aesthetic is better than anyone else's. That's just what it is. So uh, here I'm going to do something right away. I'm going to take your site. I'm going to copy and paste all of it into this word counter here. There we go. You have 177 words. I'm going to do the same for TK, roofing and gutters. Copy and paste. They have 1,124 words. Now, algorithms don't know what they're looking at specifically, but they are just collecting raw data. Now, I can tell you that 177 uh, is not beat by 100, uh, 1,124. In fact, the opposite is true. When it comes down to a contest of words, uh, uh, this wins. Sadly, that's the way that the Google algorithm works. But even your competitors don't have as much as Google wants. Google wants you to have 1,500 words. They love content. They think content is number one in terms of getting good results for their clients, their search clients. So uh, 1,500 is the way to go, but all words are not the same. You don't want the word donut in there 1,500 times. That's not what it's about. So I'm going to show you. You have four keywords on your website. Beautiful though it is, there are only four keywords. And the keywords that you're going to find are words from your industry. Words like gable or, or soffit or TPO or metal, whatever. You know what the words are? I don't. You're in that business and I'm in this one that talks about keywords. So that's what I know. Now, uh, I'm going to show you what they have. They have, click, come on. Oh, that's you. Sorry. TK has 3,700 uh, keywords. Now, you don't have to necessarily B 
beat them in this. It would be great if you did. That would require a lot more words and a lot more pages. Uh, uh, but uh, the keywords uh, can certainly come up from four, which will help your standing. It would be best, like I say, to beat them at the 3,700. And I'm going to show you what theirs are. Um, I'm going to adjust this a little bit here. Let's see. I'm going to just replace, uh, see if I can order by keyword here. Here we go. It's thinking. Uh, emergency roofer near me. Uh, 1,000 square foot roof replacement cost. Uh, uh, this is alphabetical, so that's not as useful. But uh, you can see that it's a whole variety of things that people are interested in when they do a Google search. Able gutters, uh, ATEC roofing. Um, uh, there's all sorts of things that people actually type into a search. And that's essentially the words from your industry because the way that gurgle, Google, <laughs> gurgle, <laughs> the way that Google finds these words is by taking all of the sites that come up with this search criteria, putting them all together, stripping out all the words, and then counting them and seeing what appears most often and second most often and so on. Those become the keywords and Google expects those to be on your site. They have an expectation of more than four. So next I'm going to talk to you about backlinks. Backlinks is where you appear on another site. They have a link back to your site on their site. You have one backlink so far, and TK has 1,500. This may seem like a losing race. It is not. This is simple to fix. Uh, let me show you what theirs are. They are on sites.google.com. They're on expertise.com, yellowpages.com, superpages.com. All of these are essentially free sites to be on that uh, you just have to fill out a profile and uh, you can be on them, but there are uh, a lot of them and uh, it could take a while. And you especially want to be on any that are 70 and above rated. Now, uh, they only have what, uh, six here in the 90s? So, uh, oh, five, I miscounted. They have five here in the 90s. You can have a lot in the 90s and just blow them out of the water because those ones are more important than down here at drjack.world.com. Apparently people don't get their roofing advice from Dr. Jack. So who knew that? Um, now, the final thing I'm going to show you is this. This is where the rubber meets the road. Your traffic last month, based upon your uh, standing in the uh, Google profile and in, in the Google search results, based upon your backlinks and your keywords is four or eight. You had eight people click. That's up six from the month before. So you had two clicks the month before. You're on the rise. Here's what TK Roofing had. They had 1,800. So that is essentially 900 more. Uh, well, <laughs> let me see here. I'm not doing the math correctly. 400 times more options to have a estimate request, 400 times more op opportunity to have a customer, 400 times more opportunities to have money in your pocket, because that's what this really comes down to. The higher your rating here, the higher your, that you show on a, on a Google search, the more people are going to click on your website. That is the sad fact of the matter. You know how much you and I both use Google. Well, you don't know how much I use it, but you know how much you use it, and I know how much I use it. And it's a lot for looking for all sorts of things, uh, roofers being one of them. So uh, my uh, advice to you is that you probably are much better at doing roofing than uh, you are at digging around in the guts of your website. So my suggestion to you is give Eric a call and uh, he would be happy to guide you through the next steps of helping you improve your rating a bit. Now, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope I've been helpful and you have a great day.